going to be a foul on a jumper. Steve Kerr wanted to travel here on Carmelo first. Finish your story. Yeah, so he wanted number seven. And so Donnie Walsh, who was a GM at the time, calls me into his office and he's like, uh, Carmelo is telling us he wants your number. I'm like, well, he's going to have to give me something. He's got to pay me something, right? And Donnie Walsh is like, well, you guys just talk it out and figure out the number. So I'm like, okay, cool. So Carmelo comes in there. I say what's up to him. I'm like, bro. Let me hold something. Come up off that paper. I know you're paid. He's like, don't worry. I got you. I start to throw out a number. He doesn't let me get it out. He's like, I got you. Don't worry about it. So I'm thinking, you know what? I've seen people pay people for jersey numbers, 50, 100,000. I'm thinking 20 racks minimum. And my boys are hyping me up. And I walk in the next day, he hands me a check for $3,000. I'm like, oh, come on. What? He hands me a check for $3,000. Three grand. That was, that was it. I almost walked up to him before the game. I was like, bro, can I get an extra 10 G's for that jersey number you took? Now, Coletta, I mean, no calligraphy classes? Couldn't you have made a 3 into a 30? <laughs> you know? I know, right? And, and, was, and he paid by check. Yeah, he paid by check. The problem was I didn't have any leverage with the team. I wasn't a star. If I was a star, I could have been like, nothing less than 50 racks. I'm not coming off this number 7. But I didn't have that leverage. I, I was hurt. I didn't even get to play. He knew that. And he had all the power. I, I blame my boys for my high expectations because they got in my head. They were like, bro, this dude is super paid. You got to hit him over the head with nothing less than 100 k I'm like, you're right. I need that. When, when Carmelo stopped you, you should have stayed with the number. 